hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to phantom strategies so let's talk about bitcoin it's down again it's about uh it's down around 10 and uh 10 and a half percent around 11 percent right now um so basically we had this massive drop a few days ago uh, on um uh, right i think it was a friday or the day before um let me just get the exact date yeah right around that uh november uh, 14th we had this massive drop we were in the sideway action for a while and then we had a massive drop uh, the volume started picking up there were a couple of negative headlines in the market and what happened is like you know we became a little bit oversold at that point try to bounce back but i created the video and i i mentioned that be very skeptical of any of the bounces bounces that comes in the market because it's going to be pretty much like a dead cat bounce that you know it might might not stick around because what will happen is a lot of people who were not able to sell in that position or were just like on the sideline probably like uh just you know took a dump when we had a little bit of rebound um on the 16th of november now what is happening is uh, since the lack of volume in that rebound you know the uh, the market is is not able to find the support level or not able to trust any of the bounce so if you if you see the volume on the bounce that we had on a, a day before um it's a very insignificant volume on that that tells you that you know it's a, it's a, just a dead cat bounce where maybe people who are shorting it they are closing that position but let me tell you if you are a new investor please please stay away from shorting any of the coins because you can go down pretty fast when you're trying to short uh, so please stay away from shorting any coins it's not advisable uh, i mean you can do whatever you want but it's really up to you um however you want to trade but i personally if you're a new investor i would like you know i would stay away from shorting uh, coins um so we were not able to find uh, any traction on the upside and then what happened is like we ran against the resistance which was providing a support before and then a massive drop around uh, 10 to 11 percent drop right now but the thing is in this drop we are uh, i'm looking at the daily chart and on the daily chart we are oversold all right so what does that mean it means that we will be able to see some kind of relief rally fairly soon all right i'm going to say this again we are, will see some relief rally fairly soon all right now is this going to even to stick probably probably not your guess right now is as good as mine the reason i'm saying that is because this market is very skeptical like you know everything uh, there's a lot of uncertainty in the market it, it's it's like a complete gambling when you're like getting in right now uh, because what will happen you will really have to see like you know if if it if you get a bounce um, and if it doesn't stick around like you know it, it people will start unloading those coins like people especially who are very uncertain about um certain things they will start like you know um uh, about the coins there if they're uncertain about the coins or if they're not able to handle any of this pressure they will start unloading all right my uh, the one thing that i have always mentioned on this channel try to use the stop losses okay the reason you want us to use stop losses is to limit your downside all right so let's say if like you're using four percent or five percent stop losses you know that your downside is only limited to four to five percent and uh, you know the system will automatically trigger those stop losses if the price action goes below those certain levels and so that's why you start you uh, you use stop losses all right in this kind of scenario you can even go uh, there are like you know um, i will start going start adding position at this level because this is a good position to start adding um some uh, coins so i will start adding some position at this level just because like we have been quite oversold a lot of things like if you look at litecoin um you know it's um it yeah litecoin is coming to an oversold mark ethereum is uh coming to like a near oversold uh xrp is uh, relatively strong right now xrp is like really strong compared to a lot of a uh, lot of the coins all right um so xrp seems like you know um, uh, holding on its own right now uh, so that's a very good sign for if you're trying to pick some xrp in this down market um 
as far as the Bitcoin goes I am expecting some bounce soon and I will start loading up small positions in Bitcoin uh, just a full uh, disclosure all right um, so just stay tuned I mean I, I'm just using this bounce as a trading opportunity I don't think I will be holding on to longer unless we have a drastic change if you see a shift in the volume um, but will be more of a trading opportunity right now rather than the, rather than long term holding I mean you you can hold on to it long term but right now the looking at the market situation um, and if you are like a little more active trader then trading it is not a bad idea if you're not an active trader obviously like you know uh, buying it at the old sold conditions and buying it small is always helpful so you can you know add on to a position if it market goes against you all right so keep those things in mind again bitcoin is oversold i'm expecting a bounce fairly soon all right that's all guys um let me know if you have any questions if you're new to the channel please make sure you subscribe to the channel hit the notification and the bell icon uh, if you think this videos are helpful if you're learning from them uh, please give me a thumbs up that really means a lot all right talk to you soon